Hey everybody and welcome back to Nerdvana Reactions. I'm Anna and today we are checking out part two of our Matt Sally birthday feature. This is Pentatonix introducing Matt Sally. Um, this is on a different channel than the Pentatonix channel so I'm not sure if this is anything official but it's seven minutes long so I look forward to checking it out and getting to know more about Matt. If you enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get into this. Hey, I'm Matt Slee. I'm 24. And I'm sorry. I've been mispronouncing his name. My bad. Slee. Okay. And I am the newest member of Pentatonix. Well, I went to Berkeley College of Music, and I studied vocal performance there. Number one school was Elon University and I didn't get in and I was like heartbroken and then I got this like brochure from Berkeley and it was like you should probably break I was like okay and so I applied and then I went I got in and I visited the school and it was like wow this is the place that was meant for me I actually applied to Elon too um, the admissions process there is rigorous at the best you could phrase it. <laughs> it, it it's one hell of a school though. <laughs> it's good to have that community of people from from Boston to LA. As soon as I got to Berkeley I heard about Pitch Shop. I was like, oh I gotta audition. Like I gotta go and audition. I went and I got in and which was really cool because I got in my first semester. I actually auditioned with Christine. So we were all like in this little callback audition group with me, Matt, Jared, and our other friend Danielle. And we all ended up like in the same group and then we ended up becoming close friends later. He feels like family. Like that's just what it is. Oh I'm just a be a bass singer. <laughs> I'm jealous of love. <laughs> love I did a cappella in high school. We went to a competition in Virginia called Sing Strong. And it was like the first, I think it was the first year the competition happened. I saw Pentatonix perform in the front row. Mitch, actually, I had sunglasses. And <laughs> this is like a memorable moment. Mitch took my glasses and he like wore them on stage. My friends were like, oh, you didn't like frame it. You know, like take it. Like I remember from that day forward, I wanted to do acapella for the rest of my life. And I know people say that and you know, whatever, but I knew that I was going to do it. Cause I wish you the best of all this world. Sorry, Kevin, didn't mean to cut you off. All right, so, um, I'm really loving this glance. I, I didn't consciously realize he was so much younger than the rest of them. Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, this has a lot of backstory and that's exactly what I needed because, you know, I was a little more familiar with the trio and Avi and Kevin from when I first got into acapella and pentatonix was kind of my gateway into that. Um, but when Avi left and Matt came in, I didn't immediately jump on the information. So I kind of never learned like his background and what he'd done. And it's really cool getting to see that finally. This world Matt is such a joyous human. I love that so much about him because I think he brings a life and an energy that is so beautiful to this family. Because I, I think Pentatonix, we want to exude energy and joy to all of our fans, and he fits right in when it comes to that. It was. I keep cutting people off because these cuts are so fast that it's like the second one person stops, I'm going to pause, and then it just is already into the next person. So, sorry Kirsty. Um, <laughs> in regards to what Kevin said, yeah, that's kind of what I noticed not only in the Pentatonix videos I've seen him in, but also in the first part of this birthday feature. He's like so energetic and he really exudes that energy and that makes him a joy to watch. 
That taught us we want to exude energy and joy to all of our fans, and he fits right in when it comes to that. It was amazing having Matt come into the group because he is so smooth, his voice is so smooth, he's so talented, and he's so amazing, and he's such a hard worker. Any arranger that we ever had where he didn't know it, he was like, I got it, I'll learn it tomorrow, I got this. He works so incredibly hard, harder than I've ever worked in my life. He is always so on it. Whenever we have like a dress rehearsal, he knows all the choreo before we even have to ask him. And when like someone does those type of things, it just makes everything so easy. So we kind of fell in love with him quickly. And then that, plus him being the nicest person ever, it was just like jackpot. Okay. I'm gonna make it up. I saw that, right? Like, I, I, I just saw that? I need to see that again. Make a jackpot. I'm gonna make it up. What about the... One of the things I think that makes Matt so special is that he's a true extrovert. And I really love that about him because I think he's able to bring people out of their comfort zone, which I really love, even me, because sometimes I can be introverted and he's like, no man, like you can go out there, you can have fun. Matt is incredibly charismatic. Sometimes he'll like be like pumping up the crowd and I'll be like, oh, I wish I was charismatic as Matt. He's just so much fun. He's such a joy to watch on stage. He's an incredible dancer. He also really likes candy. He likes Reese's a lot. <laughs> Oh, he has candy on his rider, so in his dressing room at every show, he always has a bunch of candy. <laughs> Note to self, if I ever become famous, I I I'm stealing that advice. Candy on my rider. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> this is just such, like... It's one heck of an introduction when you've got all these people who are already amazingly talented and well-versed and have been in the industry longer and they all just immediately love you. And it's got to have been hard shoes to fill taking over when Avi left. <laughs> he can rap. <laughs> Matt can rap. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like at all. Maybe because he's been singing bass for so long. I don't see how it He performs. He goes out on stage and he dances and he smiles and he kills it. And not only does he tune so well and sing so well in his solo and bass range, but he also is like giving you Beyonce sometimes with the way he's dancing. <laughs> it's so much fun. For me, Matt is hilarious. And he catches all my things that I don't want people to see. Like when I'm being secretly undercover shady, he catches me. We laugh together. <laughs> I play a little bit of piano, a little bit of drums. That's a little? If that's a little bit of drums, frankly, I'd love to see him, see him on his little bit of piano. <laughs> Music's been around me my whole life. And people say they've been singing since they remember, like I've been singing since I remember. I'm pretty sure my crying was like singing. My dad's a music <laughs> pastor, and so I've always grown up like singing like next to him, like he plays the organ and piano. He would always bring me up as a little kid. My mom's very musical as well. She plays the clarinet. She also sings. It is very joint where I get my talent from. <laughs> So, if I had to describe myself in five songs, starting number one would be Burning Up by the Jonas Brothers. What the Jonas Brothers don't know is that we had like a four person thing. They just didn't know I was a member of the group yet. <laughs> Shake Your Body Down to the Ground, Michael Jackson. That's like the story of my life. Like, I just, I, if I hear music, I'm dancing. I didn't know the first one because Jonas Brothers was kind of. They came into popularity right as I was listening to less pop. So I don't know that one, but obviously I know the Michael Jackson one. So let's see what else he's got. This is an interesting concept, describing your life in five songs. I don't know what mine would be, though. That's actually a really difficult question. Jesus, We Love You by Bethel. We are family, dream girls because my family is everything to me. I love my family. Life is a highway for sure because life is, wow, life has been so crazy for me. And it has been, it continues to be. 
That explains a lot about his performance of that that I watched for the first part of this. That was a really exuberant performance and you could tell it meant a lot to him. It's just so wonderful and so lovely to have such an amazing, kind, excited energy in this group because we do work so hard and we do work so often and so you want a positive and lovely and energetic force next to you and, and, and Matt embodies that. He's just so grateful. I feel like just like all our Pentatonix fans, he has these big dreams and he has so many things he's aspiring to do and being in Pentatonix was one of those dreams. And so he's like literal living proof that dreams come true, which is super powerful. Okay, before we get into this last section, what Scott said there, honestly, that's just very touching because I think for a lot of us, we've been told all our lives that our dreams aren't practical or reachable or basically that we should give up. And, but seeing someone succeed in that is always just such a powerful motivator because you know that he worked his butt off to get there. And yeah, he has talent, naturally speaking, but hard work and talent go hand in hand. Favorite movie? Inception slash Black Panther slash Greatest Showman. <laughs> Never made it through Inception yet. I saw part of it, but I, I just couldn't sit through it. It was tripping me out. Um, Black Panther is amazing. R.I.P. Chadwick. Um, and Greatest Showman I still haven't seen, which as a musical theater nut and someone who actually was a theater major in college at one point, that's embarrassing. So I'm working to rectify that as soon as I have free time. Don't know when that'll be because free time is not something in a whole lot of supply around here. <laughs> Favorite actor or actress? Uh, right now, probably Michael B. Jordan. Favorite ice cream? Cold Stone, like with like sprinkles of M&Ms. Favorite musical artist? Justin Timberlake, he's great. Favorite sports team? Baltimore Ravens. Dream car? Maserati. Favorite TV show? How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal, slash Hawaii Five-0. I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> Hawaii Five-0, yes. Pentatonic <laughs> song. Who's gonna save the world tonight? I love that. I can't sleep love is just like, it just sits. It's just so great. Cut. Hey. <laughs> yeah, his energy really is super infectious, and that's just a really good way to get to know more about Matt. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.